Hey everyone, it's Cindy from Shenandoah Papercraft, and I have made my patriotic journal, and I'd like to share it with you. I used an old red book, uh, and it was the perfect size for the pages. Um, I didn't really have to cut them down or anything. I made a new spine. It's a two-inch spine. I made it from cardboard, and then I covered it in a blue fabric, which you'll see inside. On the cover is a representation of Lady Columbia. During the American Revolutionary War, she was used to represent the United States and the value of the people who lived there. She's usually depicted wearing some form of kind of like a Roman robe in white or in red, white, and blue. Gradually over the years, she was replaced by Lady Liberty, uh, who now represented the people Probably around 1920, Lady Liberty came into fashion because they started using Columbia for the Columbia Picture Movie logos, and that's it. They were tired of her. Um, Uncle Sam was used to represent the American government. Now, on the cover here, uh, first I've got this Liberty Bill. It's a, it's a brooch, and it was my grandmother's from the 1920s, so that's on there. And then this uh, sheet music right here comes from a vintage, I don't know what you call them, you know, the bands that play at football games and march around, they have these things on their instruments. So there's a lot of patriotic songs in here. And it's falling apart. They have the Star Spangled Banner in there, so of course I had to use that. So let's go inside. On the first page, on the inside, I have to show you this. This this book, by the way, is filled with lots of vintage pictures of my family, my ancestors, and you'll see some of me in here as well. This is my grandfather, and this was probably about 1910-ish. Um, so yeah, this was his, his little, I guess they're doing a play, I'm not really sure. And they turn that into a postcard, so that's the back of it. But yeah, it's my grandpa. This is a, a airmail envelope, which I've made into a pocket. And in the pocket is another Star Spangled Banner sheet music. And when you open it up, you have these cute little kids on the bingo uh, sheet. And here's a red tag with blue and white string. Here's a lovely lady. She's going to the Mammoth 4th of July picnic barbecue and fireworks it says. Now I'm not sure if your town has like a community 4th of July big picnic. Um, I used to go to those when I was a kid and they were really fun. They had rides, they had food booths, and of course fireworks at the end of the night. Here is a Norman Rockwell painting of the signing of the Declaration of Independence and America sheet music. Here is a postcard of the uh, Washington Monument. And here's a community picnic right here. They all have an apple pie. And this gentleman right here, his name is Big Bill. And I got him out of this cute child's children's book, Cowboy Sam and Big Bill. And in the story, he goes to the to the uh, fair and he secretly makes uh, apple pie and puts it into the contest. And of course he won first place. Here is another pocket with some cute... Oh yes, here's his first place ribbon right here. I... Uh, Cute kids, you know, red, white, and blue outfits. We all like our little Cracker Jack boy. And then just a few little things here. This is a, a Cracker Jack prize. This is what they give. You don't get toys anymore. You get things like tattoos, water tattoos, or I don't even know what this is. I think it's a tattoo thing. On this side, we have a couple things. We have... This cute little um, tag I made, celebrating 4th of July, fireworks, and a really nice envelope, uh, red, white, and blue. It's written from a military man to his father, and there's a nice letter inside from the son 
to the Father. On this side, we have the White House postcard. Here we have the Edith Holden July poetry from her books. Here's another pocket I made with the flags on it and the 4th of July red, white, and blue playing card and just a little Yankee doodles. And this is the 94th Aero Squadron here in San Diego where I live. And they have a bunch of these old planes out in the yard, kind of like a mini uh, World War II uh, airplane museum out in the field. You can go out and look at those. Here are some patriotic fashions. We have the red, white, and blue over here. And this was uh, wrapped around some red rickrack. And it's an original pattern here. And then over here we have flag colored dresses. It says right there. This is an old red, white, and blue uh, dress label. And here's a couple more patriotic fashions here. Giving you the salute there. Here's another version of Columbia in America the Beautiful. And the other half of that Edith Holden July poem. Made a pocket here from this really pretty bookmark. And I just love this blue envelope. And this these are um, Olympic stamps, I believe. just the envelope, no letter inside. Here is two people walking by the river during fireworks and a couple of old red, white, and blue postcards. This is Standard Oil and Hilton Inn. What's the 4th of July without ice cream? So here's some kids around the ice cream cart by the lake and ice cream bar, sure good ice cream, and some cute little girls eating ice cream down by the beach. Here's a milk bottle cap that wants you to try their delicious ice cream, and a recipe card with some ice cream in it. And the beach, of course, lots of people flock to the to the lake or the ocean, whatever you have near you. When it's warm out, they're all eating ice cream in the water. A little beach scene. And here's a photograph of some people just soaking up the sun. January 1960, it says. And we have another uh, postcard. This is the Capitol building at night. And the signing of the Declaration of Independence. On this side, Battle Cry of Freedom. This little guy's cute. It says the Commander in Chief, and it's an old, um, it's probably from the 1860s, 1870s. It's an old trading card. It's really cute. And here is uh, another, uh, this is the U.S. Treasury. And another version of Lady Columbia. On this side, here's another uh, postcard. Here's my grandfather again, right here. And a little girl on the 4th of July po uh, playing card. And just some tickets. Maybe it was for rides at, at a carnival or tickets for the food line. Here's the other half of that envelope from up front. And it's got a cute little boy in red, white, and blue clothing riding his bicycle. And here is an old photo, looks like 1920s maybe, of people setting up for a picnic. Oops. Now here's part of, or here's the cover of the second signature. And you can see the blue fabric that I covered the spine with. 
from Lady Columbia. Here's another postcard of Mount Rushmore of the President. July 4th, this little boy loves to look at his Viewmaster. Here's an old Viewmaster reel. This is the Grand Canyon National Park. Seven more wonders of the world. Another postcard view of the White House. And what's the 4th of July without a parade? The horses and the bands and the military. Here's a popcorn bag. You can eat popcorn while you watch the parade. Now here's where I come in. This is me <laughs> in my 4th of July parade outfit. This is horse's storm. Um, and here is uh, me getting ready to ride in the parade. This picture is actually from Flag Day, which was another patriotic holiday, of course. And we were asked to come. I belong to the San Diego Costume Guild. And we were asked to come in um, early 1800s attire. So here we are posing on the deck of the Midway, um, a wonderful aircraft carrier that's been retired and now turned into our local museum for military. So, yes, yeah, that's me right here a couple years ago. Here's some kids with their plane. Here's another tag. And a red, white, and blue Life Magazine subscription. You get 78 weeks for only $7.87. Here is another community picnic scene. They're having their, their lunch down here, sitting on the, the blanket, and there's a lot going on in the background here. Here's some cute children playing their musical instruments. Now here, this is really faded and discolored, but there are three little kids dressed in their red, white, and blue outfits. It's kind of hard to see the colors because it's so discolored. And here's some kids eating ice cream on, a, looks like a dock in a lake. And this side of the popcorn bag has red, white, and blue things that you could plant in your yard. There's room for more. And on this page we have Abraham Lincoln. This is the birthplace, is the log cabin where he was born. Some children running down the street with their flags and a porch decorated for the 4th of July. This is my grandmother and her friend underneath an American flag. This was at, um, this lady owned a ranch and my grandmother would go out there quite often and this is the flag on their ranch. 19, probably 24-ish. And another airmail uh, letter with uh, a cool stamp and a letter inside. This is the Capitol building again. And this is a picture of um, it was a centennial celebration, so they had all the flags out up here. What's it say back here? Oh, and they had exhibits and stuff. This was uh, machines where rotary presses on exhibit. This looks like the 1860s or 70s. And little Betsy Ross, who sewed all these flags. One more community picnic scene. They're eating their chicken and their pie. In fact, there's their basket of chicken right there. Mm, corn on the cob, doesn't that look good? Potato chips in a basket. 
this is a community service song sheet. I always had a date on here. 1913. So it's community songs to sing. Star Spangled Banner, America, Battle Hymn of the Republic. All kinds of, of songs in here. Onward Christian Soldiers. Yeah. Columbia, the Gem of the Ocean, and so on. Erica the Beautiful. So they had a little community sing-along. And on the back here is some cute little girls wearing red, white, and blue. And here's a matchbook from uh, TGI Fridays, which is a family restaurant here in town. And one last picture of Lady Columbia. So that's the so that's my patriotic book. And again, it's on a red book, but as you can see, I didn't even have to hardly cut the pages. It fit perfectly. I folded in half, eight and a half by eleven, just trimmed off the edges a little bit. I hope you all have a great holiday this summer, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.